Glory be to God. Glory be to God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Good morning, saints. God bless you. God give you. I'm talking about peace in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and pray. Father God, we just come to you, Father God, boldly to the throne of grace. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Just thanking you, God, for waking us up this morning, touching us, God, having us be in our right mind, Father God. Thank you for shelter, food, clothing, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, I plead the blood of Jesus over everybody that's in the sound of my voice and those that will hear. Oh, Father God, I just thank you this morning. We give you honor and we give you praise. Oh, Oh, Father God, we summon you on this whole earth, Father God, in the name of Jesus, the power of God, the fire of God, the anointing of God. Go through this whole world, Father God. You have given us authority, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in Luke 10. 19 you says that you have given us all authority over the enemy so father god we usurp our authority we gird our authority right now in the name of jesus like true men and women of god and father god i just thank you father god that the saints are rising that the remnant is rising oh father god for such a time as this father god satan we put you on notice you have no authority in the earth in the name of jesus christ of nazareth for god has given us dominion he said let them have dominion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh, Father God, I pray for your people to rise. Strengthen them, Father God. Let their hands prepare for war, Father God. In the spirit, in the name of Jesus, oh, Father God, I just decree and declare that all the works of the enemy is annulled. I terminated to the root of that thing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I say, be gone, Satan. The blood of Jesus is against you. Oh, hallelujah. The blood is still powerful. The blood lives. Hallelujah to his name. Name. Oh, Father God, I decree and declare to be so, Father God. Stir them up, God. Stir them up, God. Stir them up, God. Stir up their spirit. Hallelujah. To the wind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Father God, I pray that you give them wisdom. I pray that you give them this sermon in the name of Jesus. Strengthen their minds, their bodies, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I say that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Oh, hallelujah. It's your farm, but it shall not prosper. Oh, Father God, I decree and declare to be so. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we give you honor. We give you praise. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this prayer. I say this prayer would not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Now, let us all say in agreement with those that agree. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, um, I, I woke up recently and God just had this on my mind. He said, Deanna, you got to tell them it's time for war. Oh, it, it's been a spiritual war. Every day the angels fight. Every day I'm saying something. Every day I, I, I'm going to teach this thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. The enemy tried to stop me. And, and I'm going to teach on the level to where you're going to you're gonna grow. You're going to know some things. And it's not by Deanna. Hallelujah. I am just a servant. It is by the living God. It is by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God this morning. As I was praying, y'all notice I got caught up. Let me tell you something. Whenever you are praying a powerful prayer, it does not matter because the anointing of God, right? The enemy will try to trip you up. You just start praying in tongues if you have your prayer language. If not, just keep on going. Come on, somebody. I'm going to teach you some keys to the kingdom. The enemy will always try to fight. Uh, uh, against the uh, anointing of God. Uh, yeah, he tried to, you see, tried to make my computer and it ain't never did that while I was doing this, but that's okay. It does not matter. Let me tell you something. We have a job to do. God was talking to me this morning and this is what does said the Lord. He says, time for you to start doing your job. We are not praying the way we should pray. We are not speaking what we should speak. We are not walking authority, spiritual authority. There is no way that the enemy should be powerful the way he is. Is. Oh, come on, somebody, because God said, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the beginning, I am the end. Who will stand? Who will serve me? Hallelujah. I am reminded of David and Goliath. I know he looks big. I know he looks strong. But look what he said. He said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that have defiled the army of the living God? I feel one this morning. I feel this thing this morning. Hallelujah. Who are these uncircumcised Philistines before us, said the Lord. Hallelujah.
hallelujah. We are David's in the earth. Stand against Goliath, said the Lord, hallelujah. It does not matter who or what they are. Oh, come on, somebody. God said, I'll go before you. I, I, I'll pick six, seven smooth rocks. You don't hear what I'm saying, hallelujah. A lot of you have forgotten who you are. I know it seems hard. I know the enemy seem like he's winning. Oh, come on, somebody. Let's walk throughout that day. Even his brothers, David's brothers say, he, David said, who, what, what should be done to the man that comes against this enemy and win? God had already put it in David's heart. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And God is putting it in your heart this morning. Stand, said the Lord, hallelujah to his name. So I have on here my foundation scripture, which is Luke 4, 1, and it says, and Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Let me tell you, you have to be full of the Holy Ghost. You can't be half full. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You can't be 99 because we have a true enemy. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to teach this thing. I'm trying to slow down. But you know, when you're full of the Holy Ghost, it's kind of, you be running. I'm going to tell you something. What has happened. And I noticed it in my life. Because you know how you go over your life. Praise God. Praise God. And I remember this is the spirit of entertainment. You see, back in the olden days in the Bible, let's go Bible days, Bible days. They didn't have TV. They didn't have technology. All the enemy has done is created things to divert you and distract you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I, I dissect that Bible. I said, God, I don't understand this. You told me that the church came in power and we're going out in power. I said, what is the problem? God said, the problem is the end of that they have forgotten their God. The problem is that they have put everything before their God. Money, cars, husband, wives. I'm just telling this thing how God says it doesn't matter what you feel. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because the spirit will speak to the spirit. Hallelujah. He said, so they have to return to me with a whole heart, Deanna, the way, let me tell you something, how this thing goes, Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. People are not seeking first God. Yeah. It's, God never said that you couldn't have things, but you're not seeking him first, saith the Lord. That's why we don't see the power of God in the earth the way we're supposed to, because when people start seeking God, oh, come on somebody. That's why the Bible days were so powerful because they saw God. God first. They put God first. They heard God. They followed God. They obeyed God. They reverenced God. They honored God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And these days when you do it, oh, they doing too much. Oh, they crazy. Oh, oh, oh they too spiritual. Oh, they are oh, whatever. Come on, somebody. It's going to take all this because the enemy, let me tell you something. The enemy is thousands and thousands of years of old. So you, you mean to tell me with your young self under a hundred, maybe a hundred and one, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Do you mean to tell me that you have the, 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 um, the, how could I say it? We're going to say the experience against the enemy. The devil is a lie. We have not the experience. So we need the power of the Holy ghost. All oh, the enemy then came in the church and did a great job. Yes, he did. He got everybody thinking, um, and I'm going here and some of you going to not going to like what I'm going to say. I'm telling you now, you're not going to like this. You, you know, recently, about maybe two, three months ago, I was offered a doctor. You, you notice I never changed my name? I, I don't need to. Uh, uh, hold on. Because in case, in case they listen. I thank you for the ones that did it. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But that does not change who I am. I'm a servant. I don't want no doctor behind my name. Because cause I'm going to tell you what didn't happen. People that came into the church got it more intelligent. But yet we ain't got no anointing. I'm going somewhere. We got the best churches. We got the, we got the, the I'm talking about a, a choir, a praise team that don't have roles, by the way. Y'all going to catch that one in a minute. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Everybody doing their own thing. Why is it that the church ain't got no power? The enemy that came into the church and gave the church money. Too much money. Not everybody's after money. And, and and here's the deal. Y'all, a lot of people make people feel like they're not blessed because they don't have what you have. If you don't have a Mercedes, if you're not pushing this, if you're not doing this, if you're not doing that, can I tell you something? You are anointed with or without anything. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to take y'all on my journey. I remember when I started in 2003 at Calvary Christian Center, and I'm going here. Um, I remember I, I had bus shoes. Oh, I'm not going to lie, I, but I would be in the choir stand singing with my little bus shoes on, and I'm talking about I would be 
just, I don't know what I was talking about, but I didn't care because I didn't have much at that time. I didn't care. Come on, somebody. And I remember when I first got blessed with my Mercedes, they ran up to me and, and, and a lot of money. That's, they uh, they say, oh, oh my God, you blessed. You know, I got upset and I looked at them people. I said, I was blessed when I had my bus shoes. What you talking about? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The church got it twisted. It is about the anointing of God. It is about the power of God. It is about the fire of God. Y'all sitting up there equating material stuff with the power of God. It cannot be done. That's why the church is in disarray because y'all sitting up there thinking, oh, they got a big church. They blessed. Oh, they driving a Bentley. They blessed. Oh, they got all these followers. They blessed. Oh, they got a full church. They blessed. The devil is a liar. Can you lay hands, which I don't see holly anymore. Can you speak the word of God by the power of God with the authority of God I don't hear that hardly anymore I can you talk about the truth which is the new world order martial law and everything that they're trying to do to kill people to depopulate this earth and they hate Christians tell the truth hallelujah you can't because the only time you can stand before the people is if you've been with God hallelujah to his name y'all ain't hitting me this morning come on somebody hallelujah this stuff is real and God is tired of the church playing. And God says, woe unto you. I'm telling you what thus said the law. Woe unto you that betray God and his God's people, Judas. The spirit of Judas is on this land. Judas, you know what's going to happen, Judas? You're going to go in the field and hang yourself, Judas. Until this day, Father God, Father God says that Judas is called the field of blood. No one have ever even go there. That land is cursed. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I just said. So keep playing with God. Hallelujah to his name. We have a job to do. I, I know you don't understand this, but let me break this thing down as simply as I can. God says in first um, Jeremiah, he says, before I formed you, I knew you. That means that we was in heaven. We are spirits first. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Don't you know that you have an assignment on this earth and how you can tell what your assignment is, is what you get upset about me. I can't stand fake Christians. I can't stand people that do you. Know, I'm, I'm going here. Don't care if you don't like me. Do your job. How is it that you can stand in a pulpit or get on Facebook or whatever? Whatever you call yourself preaching and not tell the truth before God with the power of God. If you're going to do this thing, do it right. Because woe unto you pastors that don't tell the truth. Woe unto you apostles don't, that don't tell the truth. Woe unto y'all just faking for money and not trying to get souls. God says go to the highways and byways. Compel them to come. You know what compel means? Convince. How you convince them? You really don't have to do nothing. God say all you got to do is speak and I'll speak through you. Oh, come on somebody. How Hallelujah. I feel the power of God this morning. I'm sick of it. I've had enough and I don't know about you, but I can see it in my life. I, I, I finally realized, oh, come on, somebody, I'm going here. You know, before my mother died, which is 1996, and I'm going to say that again, 1996, May 9th was the first time I ever heard my mother say what she said to me a week before. And I'm going to tell this story again because some of you need to hear it. Um, Mama had called me a week before she died. And she said, my baby, I need to talk to you. I just got off of the night shift, 11 to 7. I, I, I'll never forget that day. And she said, Deanna, I'm getting ready to die. And I hung up the phone. I ain't going to lie because I wasn't ready to hear that. And she called back. She said, don't you hang up this phone again. She said, you say you're a woman. Listen to what I have to say. She said, Deanna, I know you was a hell raiser. I know you did a lot of bad stuff. She said, but God have chosen you. And she said, they better leave you alone. And I'm going here. I'm telling the full story. So I hope nobody get offended talking about my family. She said, they're going to turn their back on you. You're going to live a lonely life. You're going to go through some stuff, my baby. She said, but remember, God loves you. And I listen. And I'm going to be honest with you. I thought mama was just talking you know how you you see you hear people ramble I said mama just tripping I said I don't know you whatever but I'm here to tell you I'm 51 years old and everything she said came to pass oh come on somebody hallelujah and I really didn't understand it and, and, and let me tell you when it really became clear when when after she died which is on May 9th which is actually like a, a week or two weeks later after that phone call and I'm telling you everything came back and I'm trying to wrap my mind around I said okay God this woman I didn't even know God like this so uh, I but I was, uh, I just got ordained a youth minister and believe it or not, 
Mama died May 9, 1996. That was the first time that I was um I was going to preach and I did preach. I didn't want to because I got mad at God just to be honest with you. I said, "God, I'm not preaching today." He said, "You're going to preach and you're going to preach like you never preached before." And then afterwards I broke down. But when I started piecing everything together, I said, "This woman had to know God. God has to be real to the effect." But what really tripped me out was when I walked in Mama's house and Mama had a card on her dresser and it was addressed to me and the stuff that was written in it was was so powerful y'all don't hear me she said just be strong god is gonna use you it's gonna hurt you you, you go you got to go through a lot but you called I, i'm going somewhere walk with me i'm not trying to glorify myself walk with me and then i saw she had her her, her for me then she wrote her own obituary who writes their own obituary you ain't ready for me and, and, and i said that and and that's when i say god you real you got to be real for this woman to do this i didn't think of her just as a mother i said this woman has I promised myself, I said, whatever it takes, if I could just be half of who she was, come on somebody, just half of who she was. And I, I sat on that journey and I stand before you today, 51 years old, telling you that I know my, I know my calling now. I don't care if I get rich. I don't care if I have this. I don't care. If I, I, I have one mission and the mission is to do what God says until I die. Hallelujah to his name. So my brothers and sisters, I ask you to say, question are you on your mission are you doing what God said to do or are you living for others oh come on somebody I see this my whole life I've seen it now you some of you you're working hard for your parents you're trying to please your parents you're trying to please your you and you could be old as Methuselah still trying to please people you want people to say oh you're doing such a good job oh oh, oh you you got it going on you are, you you are, you are a doctor oh, oh you are a lawyer oh you, you everything but I just want to ask you something have you considered Consider your assignment, what God have put in you. Oh, come on, somebody. You didn't just come to this earth to look good. Come on, somebody, to have money. I know you thought to be in Hollywood, to be on TV. Y'all ain't ready for me because most of y'all, that's what's in your hearts. But I want to pose another question. When you get before God and you will, what are you going to do? What are you going to say? And I know people don't like this because I lost about 10 of y'all just now. I come with that Holy Ghost fire. Not trying to act like I'm all that, but I know what I possess. God is calling and God is saying, and that's why he said that scripture. Many are called and my, um, my, my, my life, y'all, I'm telling y'all right now, but I pray that y'all hear me. Boy, I tell you, they can't stand when I'm under that Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to his name. Let me tell you something. He said, many are called and few is chosen. And, and I've been saying this for years. I said, God, why do you say that? He said, Deanna, because I've called many. He said, but only a few. Say yes, Lord. Now, now, hold on. Don't fool me now. Because a lot of you say yes, but he said with your whole heart, mind, body, and soul. That's why he says, he says, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Walk with me this morning. It takes a real, praise God. He's going to require everything. Your mind, your soul, your body, your actions. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. They really mess with my life. Just trying to throw me off. So I hope y'all still hearing me and seeing me. Um, seeing the scripture. So my question to you is when you came on this earth, God gave you an assignment. One day when you get to heaven and we all go before the judgment seat, you're going to have to, you're going to have to answer if you feel that assignment or not, or if you just did your own thing, because most people are doing their own thing. Truth be told. Whose father are you? Are you, who's your father? Is it Satan or is it God? Because he says, choose this day who you're going to serve. You can't serve God and mammon. I know you're trying to, but you can't. There's no way you can serve the devil and God. It just cannot be done. Praise God. Praise God. So I'm on here to tell you, make a choice and choose wisely. Because God said we're supposed to be praying more, fasting more. After the 40-day fast, I haven't stopped fasting. I can't. I can't. And it's not even for me. Yeah, I'm fasting for some things in my family and some people, but... Most of all, I'm fasting for everybody in this world. You don't hear what I'm saying. Twelve apostles turned this world upside down. And you mean to tell me that we got a church that can't do the same? The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You are touching the unclean thing. This is a sacrifice. This is not easy. This is a sacrifice. You can't go where you want to go. You can't do what you want to do. Oh, I'm about to be transparent on here. You know, I told y'all at one point I, I was playing. You know, this is when I was, what, 40, 40, 41, 42. I can't remember. And 
I didn't get real serious until God showed me, said, Dana, you can't do this. I mean, you, you, you can't slick drink. You can't slick fornicate. You can't slick lie. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. Y'all ain't ready for me. You got to be pure. I didn't say perfect, but you got to be pure to do, so I could put that Holy Ghost. What you have to do, you have to be pure. The enemy don't want you pure. So he tries to take God's people so you don't have no power. Because if you don't have no power, then you can't make a difference. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Woo! So I pray that you understand what I'm saying this morning. Do your job because you have to give account. We all give account. God said on that day we should all give account what we do, what we say, what we don't do, and what we don't say. You have a job to do. That's not about you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ooh, I feel the power of God. So I pray that you pray today. Get on your face fast. Even if it's 1 to 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Pray for your brothers. Pray for your sisters. Pray for the sinners. That's what Jesus did. Jesus said, I've come to save that which was lost. Don't you see people lost out there fighting over a chicken sandwich? I'm still, I'm, I'm sorry. The video still got me like, woo. A chicken sandwich. And then I'm going to be honest with you. You know I'm a chef. That don't even look like no good bun. It look like a cheap bun. It, it's something. It, it just looks off. I'm sorry. And I'm not just saying that. I'm like, Lord have mercy. Woo. Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers. For that is who you are. Can, and I'm going to tell you the story again behind that. God said, we are soldiers of the living God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He want me to tell you something before I get off of here. He want me to tell you the dream. I'm, I'm going to be sharing a lot of stuff um, to come. Um, everybody have a pass. So I'm just going to be transparent. I don't think I've ever really um, stated this, what happened. But when I was young, I was incarcerated. And one day in there, um, long story short, I had a dream. And that's when I knew that I was different too. This dream really, it did something to me. I remember to this day, very full blown. And this was the dream. I was in a field and it looks like a desert. I was in a desert and the Holy Ghost and Jesus came to me. And it's like, it was an army. It was an army of people. And it was a very angelic dream. And they had nothing but swords. And so they picked me up and they put me in the front of the army. And they had a big thing full of swords. And they say, choose one. And I love swords. I don't know why. <laughs> and I picked one. And long story short, when I picked it, he said, you're the forerunner. Do your job. And I remember in the next, in, in the next instant, I was on a horse. And they had a whole army of people behind me. And I looked back and then I, I, I said, charge. And I just started. I, 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 just, I just said something. I just told y'all something that's very, very powerful because that was an um, a open vision. I knew then, but I didn't understand it until years later. I'm a forerunner. That's why the things I say sometimes don't make sense. Sometimes people don't understand it. Y'all do know what a forerunner is. Jesus was a forerunner. What happens to forerunners? Y'all get y'all get it. I know my ending. I saw it when I was 27 years old. And I welcome it. Hallelujah to his name. Nobody scared to die. We have a, a whole generation that's scared to die. That's why y'all don't preach like this. That's why y'all don't teach like that. Yeah, them people come in one day. And I welcome it because remember this, me like Jesus. All we did was trade places with Jesus in case you didn't know Christians. Because, you know, the, 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 the other Christians, they don't understand what we're what we here for. All we did was trade places with Jesus. You have to carry your cross, whatever that is, to Calvary. Then there it is. So God bless you. God keep you. And again, roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.